Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with The Trumpet for My People. Today is August 20th, 2021, and we are coming up on the four-year anniversary of the Great American Eclipse tomorrow, August 21st, 2017. Four-year anniversary, okay? We know that in the Bible, <clears throat> there's a parable of the fig tree in Luke 13, 6 through 9, and it talks about the one who came and he planted the fig tree and came looking for fruit for three years on the fig tree and after three years had found no fruit and was going to cut the fig tree down. And then the, uh, the watcher of the vineyard asked the owner of the vineyard to give it one more year. And if one more year comes and there's no fruit on the tree, then you can cut it down. So it's a four-year parable of the fig tree cutting down the fig tree okay would this apply to the United States after such an amazing sign on August 21st that came crossing the entire country in X well one line and then you have another eclipse that's coming in 2024 that's going to make another uh, line across America and there's going to form a big X is it the blotting out of America is this the sign of the destruction of Babylon in one hour that is going to be coming? Okay. These are signs in the heavens, signs on earth of the coming destruction of Babylon. Okay. So we're looking at this time frame we're in right now. We have the four-year anniversary of the eclipse. We have a parable that talks about four years. <clears throat> now I want to share something very interesting that was sent to me. Yesterday I shared with you, okay, in this video I did, Ready or Not, it's about a movie that came out in 2019, and the, the movie came out on August 21st, okay, and it's about a wedding that takes place, it's actually the wedding night, I think, it's actually the wedding night, it's not the next day that the, that the lady is going to be getting married, it's the same day, they get married on that day, and then before they are actually able to go to their honeymoon, the bride has to survive one night. It's called Ready or Not. And the whole family hunts down this lady. And uh, they, she has to survive one night <clears throat> of, a, of a purge. They're going to try to kill her. And if she can survive, then she can become the wife and uh, enter the family. Okay? So it's a w very wicked uh, plot, okay? But the, the lady's name is Grace, okay? The lady's name is Grace, and then we have this information on Hurricane Grace that's here right now. <clears throat> and the movie came out on August 21st, and Grace is here right now and through this uh, anniversary, okay, Grace. But here, then after I shared this, someone sent me a piece of information, Okay, now listen to this. Ready or not, <clears throat> August 21st. Okay. Ready or not, August 21st. Someone, because I shared this, okay, there's someone sent me a comment. It's actually under here. I could go find the comment, but I don't want to expose anybody's name. They Some people don't always want to have their name showing up on a video. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'll just tell you this comment that came in. Okay, so I shared this video about Ready or Not, and as soon as the, she saw this video, her son, one of her children, was watching a cartoon, and within the cartoon, they said, Ready or Not, Ready or Not, here I come, Ready or Not. It, it's like it clicked. Okay, I shared about Ready or Not. She heard her child say Ready or Not, and then as soon as she heard that, she remembered there was a dream by Dana Coverstone, okay? There was a dream by Dana Coverstone, and listen to what Dana is going to be saying here, okay? Listen to what Dana is going to be saying exactly at the, uh, starting at the 11.11 mark. Okay, let me play this. Preached from in the last several weeks. Friday night, 20, August 21st, I simply saw the white figure appear, raised a finger to the sky, 
And he said, ready or not, nation, here it comes. Okay, I can play that again here. Let me play that again. And this is a dream and a vision that Dana Coverstone said. Okay. And he had this vision on August 21st, and he saw a finger to the sky, and he said, ready or not. Okay. See, see how the Lord is speaking here? I just shared about this. Ready or not, August 21st. Okay. I just shared about this. Shocking things. I'm thinking of Habakkuk there. A passage that I have preached from in the last several weeks. Friday night, 20, August 21st, I simply saw the white figure appear. Raised a finger to the sky. And he said, ready or not, nation, here it comes. Okay. After sharing that, he went on to another vision, another date, another time. But <clears throat> this was a vision that he received. It was speaking to America. Ready or not, nation. Okay. What did it say? Let's listen again here. One last time. One last time. Friday night, 20, August 21st, I simply saw the white figure appear. Raised a finger to the sky. And he said, ready or not, nation, here it comes. Okay, ready or not, nation, here it comes, okay? August 21st, 2021, four-year warning. We've got a movie that came out called Ready or Not, okay? The bride's name is Grace, all right? And God gave Dana Coverstone a vision on August 21st about ready or not nation here it comes okay now hurricane grace update i shared with you guys yesterday hurricane grace came across the yucatan peninsula and uh it's back out here now into the gulf and it's heading back towards mexico across here okay we are out of danger all of our areas out of danger with this but it's still here grace is still here now what is grace okay we talked about the meaning of biblical grace in uh, our first message about hurricane grace the arrival of grace but i want to talk to you about this this was another comment that was sent to me okay a grace period this is another comment that was sent to me and this is the common understanding of a grace period okay Hurricane Grace is here. There's a common understanding of a grace period. What is a grace period? A grace period is a set length of time after the due date during which payment may be made without penalty. A grace period typically of 15 days is commonly included in mortgage loan and insurance contracts. A grace period is usually 15 days. Okay. What was the big event we were watching? From the sign of Jonah, the second sign of Jonah on June 24th, 44 days, leading us to the timing of the birthday of Barack Obama when he revealed himself as the 666 man. You can donate six, sixty, or six hundred dollars to my foundation. He revealed himself as lightning from heaven through his birthday party photo that was leaked. Okay, and then together with that, we had that Nova star that appeared in the tail of Ophiuchus exactly on this time. So August sixth, August seventh, during this weekend. Okay, I mean this could have been where where it was all coming down, but then we have a grace period, okay? We have a grace period of 15 days, okay? I'm just sharing with you the signs that we have, okay? I'm just sharing with you the signs that we have. We have grace. It came across my area right here. I'm in the center. I, we're, I mean, we went through the exact center of the, the cone here. This is exactly where we are right here, okay? So this is a sign. 
especially over where we are in Yucatan, Mexico, and I'm the one sharing with you about everything leading up to Obama's birthday and the uh, the revealing that took place on his birthday party. And now we have what is the understanding of a grace period is 15 days. Okay, so from August 6th and August 7th, it brings us to August 21st and August 22nd. Okay, so we have the Great American Eclipse, we have a four-year parable, we have Ready or Not with a bride whose name is Grace, and they're going to come after her. We have this warning to America that exactly on August 21st, Dana Coverstone receives a vision and says, Ready or Not Nation, here it comes. Ready or not, nation, here it comes. And then we have a grace period that is given from this amazing sign that took place on the birthday of Barack Obama. Okay. Now I've got a couple couple more pieces of information here before I close. Okay. Back in 2012, all right? Back in 2012, there was this big deal with Syria, and the president of Syria was going to be uh, um, nuking, well, he was going to be attacking his own people with chemical weapons. Okay. And President Obama gave a warning to Syria that the use of chemical weapons would cross a red line for the administration, that, that it would cross a red line. Okay. Obama gave a red line warning to Syria on chemical arms. His red line warning. And this this came out on August 21st, 2012. The red line warning of Barack Obama. August 21st, 2012. Let me uh, look up something here. Obama issues Syria a red line warning on chemical weapons. It actually came out on Tuesday, August 20th. On Wednesday, on, I'm sorry, on Monday, August 20th. Okay, so one day before this other report, uh, they're reporting on it on August 21st. That's what I wanted to confirm. Okay, so the, the, red, the red line warning on chemical weapons was given on August 20th. There's a red line. Okay, so anyway, there's a red line. You do not want to go across this. Once you go across the red line, okay, what is the red line? There's the point of no return, okay? It's the point of no return. That's the red line. All right, well, this came out on August 20th. That was 2012. Now, remember what happened in... Uh, 2019, August 21st, 2019. Okay. Somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody, I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. So I'm taking on China. Okay. August 21st, 2019. Another sign that came about the coming Savior. I am the chosen one, all right. Now, this one last piece of information, the the guy that never goes away, somehow is in the news, still and even one year ago, August 21st, 2020, okay, one year ago, Obama gives fear itself a name. Obama speaks during the Democratic National Convention in preparation for the election and he speaks on August 21st and he gives fear itself a name and he gave a speech which he called a five alarm speech. 
August 21st, 2020. A five alarm speech. Not his usual speech. Obama gives fear itself a name. August 21st, 2020. A five alarm speech. Okay. So I'm just trying to put together some dots here for you guys. I mean, we have this great sign over America. We've got a four-year parable of the fig tree. We've got a movie that comes out about killing the bride whose name is Grace. Ready or not. We've got the warning by Dana Coverstone that came exactly on August 21st. The vision he had. Ready or not, nation, here it comes, August 21st. Okay, we've got Hurricane Grace. We've got a grace period of 15 days. We've got the party of Obama added a grace period of 15 days. And it brings us to the red line. Point of no return. It brings us to the revealing of the Messiah. I am the chosen one. It comes to the speech of Barack Obama giving fear itself a name a five alarm speech okay so these are warnings for today tomorrow and august 22nd as we watch this time frame connected to all of these signs leading up to where we are now okay so this is what i wanted to share with you thank you guys so much for all the comments all the emails I, I leave openly my email. I get so many pieces of information through emails. If you have information, please send it to me. I have no problem receiving emails. If I don't like it, I just delete it. So just feel free to email me and um, get me the information. I can share it. I have this platform that I can share information. So much of this information comes together. This period, this uh, grace period here of 15 days, that was sent to me through a comment. Okay, wonderful piece of information. This piece of information about Dana Coverstone that was sent to me through a comment. Wonderful piece of information. All right, so this is not uh, stuff that I get only by myself. A lot of people are working together to bring all of this information together. We're just trying to be able to get it in a format that I can easily share on my channel. And uh, I thank God that I have this platform to be able to do so. So, so I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.